Okay, I've prepped the arm. This is uh, how, it, how it came out, nice and clean now, and uh, no residue left, and it's been polished. And I polish this, any, all the plastic stuff and the motor boards, I use this stuff right here. This is Mother's Mag and Aluminum Polish. Best stuff ever for polishing anything that can be polished. Doesn't hurt plastics, doesn't hurt metal, and it does a great job bringing out the original shine. That's my unpaid uh, plug for this company. Great stuff and not so expensive. They do have it in Walmart and they have it in most auto stores. Anyway, back to this. The new cartridge we're going to put in here is this, uh, the Japanese-made Sonitone 52T, which is very prevalent, costs about 10 bucks on eBay. has a nice little metal bracket. Begin by taking the metal bracket off. Then, when you're using the original screws, you also have to take four little washers here. And you see these here. These are just number four flat washers, flat brass washers. However, what, they, what I've done is I have cut the... Uh, I've cut a little uh, edge off of them because they're just a little bit too big in diameter to fit between the, the screw head and the outer edge of the arm and they'll bulge the arm out if you don't. Then I take this and then the narrowest part of the uh, bracket here, I slide it underneath so that there's one new washer on the top and one new washer on the bottom and then slide it underneath till it gets to the two screw holes right there and then right here and then there you go and then keep it right in the middle as you tighten the screws down dee -dee 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 -dee. right there there you go perfect that's it and then that the brackets ready now we got to prep the cartridge this is where a lot of people lose their cartridges because you're never ever supposed to solder to a cartridge I do it all the time I'm used to it if you do it quickly and carefully, you'll be all right. You take the little terminals and you bend them so that they're facing each other like this. I hope you can see this. Maybe if I put the light on here. Mm, yeah, you bend them so that they're touching each other just like that. The bottoms will touch each other. This is bridging it to mono, by the way, because these are stereo cartridges. And you bend that in like that. Bend this in like this. There we go, just like that. And then with a very small point soldering iron. If you don't have a small point soldering iron, uh, I feel bad for you. Uh, you got to put this in here like that. And then this is called tinning, where you add some solder to the connection and you do it very quickly. Put the solder and the iron to the metal at the same exact time. And it's, you got to have three hands. And do it like this, just a tiny bit, like that, and like that, and that's it. Then with the original wires, or this is a replacement wire set, I do the same thing. I tin it and make sure there's fresh solder on the wires right there, fresh solder right here. Then I put the red wire at the, on the side that has the needle on it. And just tack it on. Don't uh, don't put any don't put any uh, uh, don't delay on it. There we go. Just like that. You saw how fast that was. That's as fast as you got to solder, or you're going to wreck your cartridge. Same thing with the bottom wire. The white one goes on the bottom of the cartridge right here. And as I said, it helps to have three hands or one of those alligator clip third hand helper things. I don't know, but I'm used to doing this anyway. There we go. And that's it. You saw how fast that was. You don't do it any. You know, put any more heat than that on it and you're losing your cartridge. Then you just slide it into the back part of the mount and then you snap it into the front like this. And there it is. Tuck the wire down here to keep it out of the way. Make sure nothing's shorted out. And you should be just like this. There it is. No wires touching. And when it's in the play position, just like that, there won't be anything hanging down to touch the record. This is a needle guard right here. You'll be taking this off. And there it is. It's ready to play records again. And uh, the weight's back in. The screw's back in here. And uh, if you have, by the way, a lot of arms, the early versions have a spring in here. You can take that spring out. You don't need it anymore. As a matter of fact, the later versions, they eliminated that spring. Because they found out that it needed extra tracking weight. Another thing I like about these cartridges is they don't need any extra weight. They don't need any weight taken off them. They're the ideal tracking weight for this setup. And there you go. That's it. And
And there it is. Cool.